Mr. Elsey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, General. It's good to be here. We've not met before, uh, but uh, as soon as I shook your hand, I understand that you have some pretty thick skin because <laughs> you, you get run through the ringer up here, and I appreciate your time and uh, in, in coming up here. I'll get right to it. Are you familiar with the term? Now, Congressman Gar Garcia, Congressman Gonzalez, and I are all in naval aviation in our previous careers. Have you ever heard the terms of alligators closest canoe? Yeah, I, I think I've heard it, uh, uh, the, uh, the nearest uh, bear to the door, but That's it? pretty All much right. the same, I think. And have you heard the term stump the chump? No, afraid of that. Okay. Of that. <laughs> that means when you ask a question that you're, you know you're not going to get the right answer on or something like that. It's something to put somebody on the spot. I promise you I'm not going to play that game with I you today. It. But we are going to talk about the alligator closest canoe. I'm from Texas 6, which is just south of Dallas. I have a a uh, nine-county district, which has gotten pretty big, largely rural, uh, not a whole lot of money in the district. And as I look at the uh, the budget requests for some of these programs, and I understand you have a very large uh, department. You have a lot of folks working for you. And I know you didn't write this budget request yourself. And, and then you have to be under the microscope to answer for it. So I'm going to ask you a couple hard questions namely about the SCAP program, which um, helps offset the cost of local law enforcement for uh, holding within their jails um, illegal aliens who are criminals, either have been convicted of a felony or two misdemeanors. And previous to that, we had $234 million allocated to that program. And that program has been cut. And I'm, I'm curious to know if there's an alligator close to canoe, which is, again, I said I'm not going to play stump the chump, we have a we have a illegal immigration problem. We have a drug problem coming from the border. We have a human trafficking problem coming from the border. I think we can agree with that. So I asked my local sheriffs uh, how much it costs them to, to hold some of these folks. Uh, and and uh, so I've got nine counties, but I talked to Sheriff Elmer Tanner of Navarra County, Brad Norman of Ellis County, my home county, Bill Wavert of Tarrant County. We're still waiting on some of those numbers. There's 254 counties in Texas, and I, I, I would argue that Texas is bearing the brunt of what's going on on the border. So I got heard back from Elmer in Navarra County. He has held 28 of these criminals for a total of 2,067 days. At $69 a day, that's $142,000 cost to Navarra County and the taxpayers of Tarrant County. There's only 52,000 people there. That's real money for counties like mine in my district, uh, like mine. So my question is, if we're going to do away with $234 million program under the justification of uh, more emergent problems like new grant problems like the Accelerating Justice System Reform, which is $300 million discretionary over 10 years, incentivize jurisdictions in undertaking the critical work of addressing the entrenched issues of inequity and disparity, that's not the alligator closest canoe. Who on earth decided to cut that entire program that's going to offset my sheriffs from having to house illegal immigrant, uh, illegal immigrant criminals for that program? And that's just one of many, but I don't have that much time to go over all of it. So I'd like to see why you can justify cutting that money, justify the request for the other money, and would you be willing to reinstate the SCAP program? Um, so I think you correctly analyzed my problem here, which is uh, my microscope was not focused on SCAP. Um, I don't know the answer to your question, um, but I'd be happy to look at it again uh, or for, for myself for the first time and have our staff talk to yours about the uh, SCAP program and uh, whether there was an alternative source of funding or some other arrangement was made. I just, I just honestly don't know, and in my experience before this and other committees is it's best if I say I don't know when I don't know. Well, that is an acceptable answer. We, we learned that at the Naval Academy, too. That, that is a perfectly acceptable one. I'd love it for you to look into it because it's important to a district like mine that's not made of money, and we're doing the federal government's job. We do have a problem on the border, and my sheriffs in my district are saying, where's the money coming from, and we've just cut all of it. And they were already only getting 31 cents on the dollar to house these illegal immigrant criminals. Uh, and that affects my district very, very harshly. So my time's expired. I yield back. Thank you very much for the, the answer. The gentleman yields back.